All right, y'all. If you see my last video I posted, this spot here is where I caught that big one at, that big, huge crappie. So I didn't bring no minnows today. I just brought my, uh, my handmade jigs. And we're gonna toss up there and see if they're still here yet or not. The conditions are different. It's a lot more overcast. It's a lot colder. Probably about five, six degrees colder it was yesterday. And a lot more overcast. So we'll see what we can get. Hopefully they're still in here real good. So let's give it a try. There we go, there we go. Got him. There we go, first fish, y'all. And it's a crappie. Pretty sure it's a crappie, from what I can see. I mean, he's a fighter, too. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a crappie. I can see him. <laughs> he's gone in the boat. <laughs> there we go, y'all. There he is. First fish on a white jig. Not a bad start. Hopefully they get bigger. <laughs> I mean, hopefully they're still in here. Thank you, Mr. Fishy. There he goes. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I only caught one so far. Oh, did you? There we go. Oh. Got him. There we go. Get him on out. <laughs> there we go. Not the biggest guy in the world, but you know what? We'll take him. <laughs> Small little guy. <laughs> Maybe find like a little school right here. There's a hit. Got him. Oh, it's a good one here. It's a good one here. This is a good crappie here. Ooh, guys. I mean, not to go to the other, other one, but he's a good one. There we go. Trying to keep out of from, uh, from getting back in that tree. Here's a good one, guys. Here's a big good keeper. Yeah. It's a good crappie. Let's see how big he is. That's out of curiosity. We're not going to keep him, but we will. Uh, I will measure a few. Probably about 10 inches or so. Oh yeah. He's actually at that 12 range. Cool. All right, one last good picture. Thank you, bud. Have a good life. Get bigger. There we go, right in front of me, y'all. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it's a bass. This one's actually a bass. <laughs> Not a crappie that I think is a bass. <laughs> Look at him jumping. All right, bud. Good fight. Thank you for the fight. But uh, time for you to quit, like you did there, which I appreciate. I'll get you unhooked here. There you go. All right, little bass. Thank you for the fight, fun fight. See you later. Oh, hang on guys. Got him. There was another one there, he was in the back. It's a crappie too, woo -hoo. Almost left, we gotta cast back, back there again now. Oh man, look at him go. 
Ooh. All right, bud. All right, bud. All right, all right. You give a good fight. Good fight. Don't worry. I'm gonna let you go. No, a little small crappie, but you know what? Happy I got him. Get bigger. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's another one back there. Let's see if we get another back there or not. Yep, look at that. Got him. I didn't get back there far enough. Oh, here we go. We got to, get him. Got to keep him out. Got to keep him out. <laughs> this guy slammed as soon as it hit the water. <laughs> All right, but man, you are feisty. Come here, feisty guy. Come here. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, feisty. Thank you so much for biting. You're small. Let you go, bud. Get bigger. <laughs> I love nice little head shakes on the way out. Hello, everyone. It's been a while since I did a, a ending of a video like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so y'all, I was trying. I did go back to that spot you seen that and try to fish in that area, but that guy had already done um, fish the area out, so. I mentioned that one crappie, and then I was up and down up, down the bank trying to look for a spot to fish. But I came along that that down tree, and as you see, it was a pretty productive area, and I caught all my fish in that uh, hand tied white jig. Um, and the best way to fish a tree like that, y'all, just so you know, is always work your way from the the outermost point, like the closest point to, towards you, and then work your way in towards the shore. So the reason for the reason why you do that is is that when you catch fish up close to you, you don't scare the fish behind them. Cause you throw out to the base of that tree and catch a fish out at the base of that tree, and then you reel that fish in. You're going through all the other fish sitting there, and there's a good chance that you'll scare them off, and uh, less than the amount of fish you're going to catch in that area. So always a good practice to start from the beginning, the very closest part towards you, towards you, or closest to you, and then work your way in towards the bank. So it's a good rule of thumb there. I mean, it also doesn't hurt to try out different jig colors, depths, and all that stuff too while you're in the spot just to see where the fish are at and what they're feeling. But I felt pretty confident that white jig, especially with the way they were hitting it so so aggressively, so quickly. So overall, not a bad day. Had a fun day. <laughs> I was a little worried at first when the guy said he caught all the fish in the area. So, but it turned out really good. I'm really happy. Um, secondly, thank you all, all y'all so much for... Uh, on my last video for commenting on it and everything is, is doing really really well I appreciate everything um, hello to all my new subscribers too thank y'all so much for joining me in my adventures I truly do appreciate y'all support um, also y'all I want to try a new what was well, I want to start a new thing up I did this before when I first started but I didn't have enough uh, followers yet and I think I got a, a pretty good group of core people following me now thank you by the way um, and I like to propose what kind of fish do you like to send me would like to see me catch um i'm willing at the end of a video to say i throw out like three types of fish and i put up which one do you want to see next in the video and i would see and i would like for y'all to put in the comments down below as a, as to say as to what fish you like to see caught or y'all can even tell me what kind of baits you want to see me use like hey chaos fishing try out crickets for uh for sunfish or try out this jig here for crappie uh i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not the uh I'm not well versed in all types of baits and jigs and, and also fish. If y'all want want to catch uh, see me catch ditch pickles, bass, um, I'm not the greatest at doing that. I catch them here and there, but I'm not really much of a, a big bass person. But yeah, just let me know let me know in the comments down below y'all what you think about that. Um, I'm more than willing to try it for a while and uh, see how it goes. I think it'd be kind of fun get more interaction with y'all and you know you know kind of put a nice little report there, buddy. But uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I said I truly appreciate everybody subscribing to me and watching my and watching and commenting to my videos and liking them. I really do greatly appreciate it. Um, other than that, y'all, please remember if you're new to my channel to like this video, subscribe, comment down below. Other than that, y'all, thank you so much, and I'll see you next video.